Hi YouTube. Uh, in this tutorial, I will be demonstrating you that how you can uh, print a multiplication table using C++. So for this uh, tutorial, uh, I will be using Microsoft Visual Studio uh, 2013. So as you can see, this uh, table on your screen. So we are going to use uh, C language to display this table and without wasting time let's get started okay guys this is the window on which, which we are going to create this uh, table so I'm going to include a header file which is uh, IO stream so in INC to include IO stream here so if you are using a DOS box or a turbo C uh, Powerland Turbo C++ so you must use iostream.header this is the function we are using to get screen get ch to hold the screen I will tell you later about this function alright now this is our main function and program could not run without our main function so we have used delimiters or a curly braces whatever you might call this and we are going to include getch the purpose of getch is to hold the screen so all right now here our program starts so what we need that I, so we are going to build a program in which user is going to enter the value and for example you can enter two three four if you want to print two table you can press two you can press three and four so for this we need a variable which stores that thing so we are going to use integer data type and n for to get that value so let's write that c out the book quotation marks backslash t backslash t all right now we are going to write that this program will print multiplication table just to make up a program just to look that it is more beautiful this is this pro this program print multi So we are going to need backslash n to print next line. Okay, we are done over here. Now we are going to use C out enter the value. C out is just used for that uh, to print a statement and it does not have any other function other than that. Just it prints the statement which you write it down in a double quotation mark. Okay so enter the value so the reason why i did didn't did not use backslash n because cn is by default is the next statement so you will learn when we going to run this program so what happens that this line prints and then this line prints and you have to enter that value that it stores in a variable and okay we are done till here now what, next step is that we have to print that number still 12 so of course for that reason we need a loop so it is appropriate to use for loop rather than do loop or while loop as for loop is uh, simple and easy so now we are going to go with for loop all right one more thing which i have didn't declare it's another variable which runs that for loop so for that I have used I so I is equals to 1 our program loop starts from 1 this is the initialization and next step is condition so we are going to run that program till 12 I is less than equals to 12 and I plus plus which increments I for example if I is 1 
it prints the one and then it goes to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine till it equals to twelve. Okay, guys. Then we need delimiters. Why we need del delimiters? Because if there are more than one statements, you should include delimiters. Because if you don't include delimiters, the other st statements are going to get skipped. So we are needed delimiters because there are more than one statement. Okay, now we are going to use to print C out double uh, sorry n. I will explain to you later what this n is doing over here. Okay, C out static. C out I okay C out equal sign and one more thing is that C out and static I C out backslash N so we are done now run this program and i will show you what these lines are doing that's program prints multiplication table it is printed kale all right now this is enter the value which means that user is going to enter his favorite number all right let's just say i'm going to type here 12 and then press enter so it prints the 12th table this n line is printing this 12 this star is printing star and this i is printing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 which is the values in our loop all right this is the main part and static i it means that whatever you multiply with 12 for example 12 ones are 12 and has a 12 value and till the end n will is going to remain at 12 so we know that 12 ones are 12 12 2 is 24 12 3 is 36 whatever the value is going to multiply with the 12 it is its table so i hope you might have understand this table this is a very basic program so if you don't understand anything you can just comment it down below and like this video and subscribe it and stay classy